name is Dr. Zenobia James. I am the instructor for the nursing assistance level one group, a uh, job training program for students between the ages of 18 and 24. The students are non-native English speaking and also, also uh, non-native speaking. And the non-native English speaking people or students or Africans, Jamaicans, Latinos, and other Spanish speaking people. This class time is 50 minutes. And there are adults and students, seven adults and students enrolled in this class. Their names are Joan, Brandon, Richard, Daniel, Ethel, Antoinette, and Shakir. I used the student attended roster to record students' presence in the class and as a tool to encourage student participation. Now we have an agenda for this class, especially for this lesson and all lessons. On the list, only one that I will be addressing today, which is guided practice. And I will ask questions and answers, and that guided practice is about 10 minutes. The other portions to this uh, lesson is less guided practice, which is group work, using hand out one approximately 10 minutes, and then a video assignment communicating with the elderly and disabled and those are tips that the um, student can learn uh, we will they will do that as a, a homework assignment then there will be a time that the student will ask questions and some others may answer the questions um, and it's about the lesson and how to go about doing the homework assignment. And we allocated 10 minutes for that. And then the homework. Um, we got two homework assignments here. And then the homework, the vocabulary list for elder speak. Uh, and we have a handout. Uh, be two handouts, number one and number two. The level of language ability. So our language lesson today is elder speak, which is a form of baby talk, frequently used by healthcare workers and also very commonly in uh, nursing homes. Uh, it's been said that the elder speak tends to irritate older people because it is patronizing and demeaning form of communication. And this course, this lesson, the content of this course is reading and writing and speaking in class. You normally say reading and writing and arithmetic, but this is reading and writing and speaking in class. The objective for this lesson is that students will demonstrate their understanding of elder speak. So teaching lesson. My, my part that I'm going to do today is guided practice. And we all know that guided practice is guided by the teacher, um, just imparting information that the student may not know or the student may know, but you have to explore and help them to understand and know what it is. So today, let us talk about what you know and have learned about communicating with the elderly and the disabled. That's going to be about 10 minutes. And my questions are based on they, if they had the reading in the textbook called Nursing Assistance Care, Long-Term Care, pages 
269 to 270. And if you read, everyone, the chapter, you will be able to respond to these questions. They're taken from the, the reading. And some of you all already have some experience uh, working in, with the elderly. There also was a workbook ex uh, exercise on chapter 20, pa uh, pages 124 in your book. And reading in the Nursing Assistance Monthly, page 1 to 4. These prepared you for our learning uh, activity today. Okay, because I'm going to ask you questions that will help you to explore your prior knowledge and your new prior knowledge and new knowledge about elder speak. And I'm going to be looking forward to the students answering the questions. Okay. Uh, pay attention to the, the photos and give you some clue of what's happening. When you are communicating with the elderly or disabled, why is it important for nurses and sisters not to talk to them as if they were children? Okay, Brandon. seniors, elderly adults, and when you talk to them like they are children, then you're embarrassing them, and you're not respecting them, and they feel agitated, and then they don't want to accept nobody's uh, help. Is an elderly person like a child, again, it is demeaning. It is embarrassing and it is uh, disrespectful. And it's hard for many people to uh, uh, accept. Think about this. In, uh, in the nursing facilities, a lot of times, you have to feed the people. Well, when you're treating them like a child, they don't care if you help them to eat. Internet, that is so right. You're making fun of the elderly person or the disabled person. Look at that eye, he's winking. And he's saying, is there any pain in your stomach? Now, if you were and you were acting like that, more likely the elderly person might would say nothing. What looks wrong with him? Does he look like he's having problems? Oh. What does it you think he is communicating to anyone? Anyone, what is he communicating? Oh, one other person. Ethel. Yes, Ethel. This person who is a worker, what the elderly is, he's angry, he's uh, uh, being difficult and he's not being very smart and the elderly person is paying very much attention to it. So class you have a general idea 
what elder speaking is and how you can improve your language as you communicate with the elderly, disabled, or with anyone. I'm requesting that you complete the homework assignments. It will help you learn how to communicate respectfully to everyone. Thank you for sharing the activities for today. Dr. Zeke.